Welcome back to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're cooking in the Dutch oven again. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, well, out in the Backwoods, we got a thing called Backwoods Engineering. And today, that's kind of what we're going to be doing because we ain't got a whole lot of ingredients to work with, but we got a little bit of this and that. So today, we're going to put them together and make an awesome dish for you guys. Okay, today, let's make this dish. We're going to use the 10-inch uh, the Lodge uh, Dutch Oven. But if, you're not, if you don't want to do this outside, you can do the same recipe inside and using the, uh, the new Lodge um, deep pan with the, with the lid. Um, You've seen us review this uh, product a few uh, months back. Really like it. You know, it's either two skillets or a skillet and a lid. So you can do this inside in the oven using this great, this great, great tool right here. Today we're going to do it outside, lots of coals. So we're going to want that lid there to hold the coals. Okay, yeah, we just flipped that over. We're going to put the pot right over the flames on that. Got some, uh, some oak limb wood going down there. Do this on the campfire, it's great. We're gonna need to start this pot out pretty hot, so that's why we're starting it out on a, on a flame. So here we have just a little the end piece from the um, brisket we smoked a couple days back, and really wasn't enough to make anything else with, so we just diced it up. Here we had uh, one sweet corn cob left over. We just cut the uh, kernels off the cob, that's fresh. Here we got uh, four medium white potatoes cut, that's uh, about three or four cups. And here, just a couple strips of bacon, we're going to use that to season our pot. It's over there, getting ready to go. We're going to have to tin a little bit, make sure our fire comes up, gets that guy nice and hot. Alright, it's coming up, so let's go ahead and put our bacon in, we'll throw that around. We got a nice flame going in there right now. All right, now that bacon's going full steam, we want to go ahead and put in our corn. I really want to really brown that corn. You hear it popping? That's going to bring out the sweetness of that. So we'll stir it in. We want to get like little brown, little brown bits going on that corn. You can hear that corn popping and jumping around. So now we're going to go ahead and put in our meat. And uh, like I said, this is brisket. It could be pot roast, it could be steak. Uh, we want that fat from the beef to render at this point and help the corn. Now this rendering down, we're going to go ahead and go in. This is just a, a, one small onion. Put that right in there, give it a stir. And our onions are starting to soften. We're going to go ahead and put in a few tablespoons of butter. Just kind of stir that around there. Use a little extra. Now, if you have some really nice fatty meat, you're probably not going to need this. You just want a little extra oil in the bottom of there. Alright, here are three cups of, of potatoes. I'm going to dump them right on top. Give them a good stir, mix them all in. Here you want to keep your heat up pretty high if you can. The water will start cooking out of those potatoes and start deglazing that beautiful caramel corn off the bottom. Let them cook down for just a minute. 
We'll show you what it looks like. All right, if you get your pins in there and they get up to heat, we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on them. And uh, we're gonna go back in every five or six minutes and stir them. All right, well, we're tending the fire back there. I got the lid on the potatoes. So that just brings me uh, to this particular point. If you're gonna do this kind of cooking, what you're gonna need the biggest uh, amount of is just time. You know, the fire's not going quite as hard as we want it to. Um, threatening to rain outside, that's why we got her up under here to porch. But, um, you know, when you're out camping, relaxing, hey, uh, you know, have a couple of cold beers, just sit back and, you know, when it's ready, we'll eat it. Right, we just went and took a look at her. Potatoes are starting to soften up, so what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, start adding our seasoning. That's uh, a tablespoon of garlic. This seasoning mix right here, we're going to shake it around real good in the bowl. Is rosemary, salt, pepper, and green hatch chili. I'm going to go ahead and give that a pretty good dose of that. Here we have uh, one portobello mushroom cap diced. And uh, don't tell Mrs. Backwoods, but there's going to be a few chopped green bell peppers in there. And we're going to go ahead and just mix those in and make sure that seasoning gets all incorporated and all that veg gets down in there and gets all uh, married up with the rest of it. Go ahead and uh, put the lid back on. Give it a few more minutes. All right, well, I told you it was threatening rain and uh, some big old clouds up there. You can hear it kicking on the roof. One of those things when you're outdoor cooking. top there right from the campfire and give her a little heat from the top and bottom on the uh, potatoes and give them a stir first. They look awesome and they smell awesome. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to crush one against the side of the pot. It's perfect. Okay. So that's going to level them off there and we'll 
go on to the next step. Well, top these off with some cheese. Okay, you know how much I like uh, lime with potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. We're gonna give it a half a lime juice. Squeeze them out good. And we'll take a take our spoon. Go ahead and fold that in a little bit. Now what we have ready here, this is uh, Monterey Jack cheese. Grated. nice and brown and uh, so we're gonna call this done take it off and give it a serve all right folks time for the plate up it's beautiful the cheese is nice and browned so we're gonna go ahead and just get a nice big scoop of that um, right on the plate there We have a lot of uh, shadows here this time of the day. And the garnish is just a simple um, sprinkle of green onions around the plate. And over the top of this beautiful dish. Hey guys, this was an awesome meal, uh, especially since it was made with just leftovers. So if you like what we're doing, hit that like button up there on the, on the channel. And please subscribe, share, comment, and see us on our Facebook page. We'll see you all next time.